Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Jenny and you are in Turkey headquarter. So today's video is, is about Queen Naomi. Um, we already know that Queen Naomi left only of Ife. December this year on the 21st will make it one year since you know she says she, she's no longer interested in a marriage. So right now they have been battling for custody of the child and other stuffs. In fact, the thing is really, really complicated. We knew of if he has gotten six wives already, but I think he has not really um, gone over with Naomi because they are still battling custody plus um, the issue only of if he has with Queen Naomi's family about um, construction and contract and um, the money that is involved, the money that was not really accounted for. So the team has really escalated to the extent that they are now going to police and they are about to proceed to the court. Yes, even maybe, I don't know if they have already proceeded to the court. So the team has really, really escalated. The both family are just digging it. So right now people are just saying that, okay, fine. When you of if you have gotten married to six wives, right? Um, why not allow Queen Naomi to take care of her son? Like there is no woman who will be alive and you you will want your son to be taken away and be given to another woman to take care of. Not even a woman that you don't know. People that um contributed to you, um maybe um you felt that they are one of the distraction when you are married to your husband they never may, may um m most of them never said good stuff about or did good stuff about kid naomi so how can you take my child to give those people no matter how good they portray themselves you can't trust someone you are not familiar with with your child and moreover kid naomi is not handicapped kid naomi is um mentally physically um help She's okay. She can take care of her son. So now it said the chiefs and the king from Queen Naomi's family and only of if a um, cabinet, like they have scheduled a time to, um, to decide on what to do because they have already told only of if a, to bring out the case from police police or something like that but i think uh only of is not really having it because a lot of things has went south between the both family family that used to be like like this you know when you are in laws you know but right now they are not the same again everything has changed you know a lot of people are saying that those people advising only of Ife, they should stop giving him wrong advices because basically, um, this is his son, the prince, who will grow up to hear all the things you've done to the mother, or how you treated the mother, or how you want to collect um, him from the mother, knowing that he's still tender, all those kind of things. And I, 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 I believe that only of if in the other hand may be thinking that I'm doing the right thing for my son. I want to be the one. But there is no how you, as a man, will take another woman's um, child and give to another woman to take care of. There is nobody that can take care of that child more than the mother, Queen Naomi. And it's, if it's, not, it's not right to take someone's child from her to give to another person, the name of because the person don't want to marry again. Um, before, what, was, um, what we heard was that only of a told Queen Nomi that either Queen Nomi bring back the son to the palace or Queen Nomi should come back with the son to the palace. So you can't be giving somebody that kind of um that kind of um be telling a woman that kind of thing. A woman that says, I don't want to marry again. I don't want this marriage again. You can't be threatening or forcing the woman to come back in because of the child you had with the woman. It's very, very wrong. It's very, very wrong, honestly. 
Forget about only if he's a king, but there is some things you overdo and man, people will start looking at you somehow. Only if he's a respected king, you know. Even if only wants to be seeing his son every day, it's very possible. It's just for him and Queen Nomis to just co-parent. If you want her, in fact, I believe that um, when he has cars, when he has everything, if, he, if it comes to um, anything that concerns your children, leave your title aside and do what a parent is supposed to do. Leave title, like, let's, let's leave title up, apart. Only of Ife and Queen Naomi is the parent of the little prince. Let them keep their title, whether church title or traditional title apart, and do what a parent is supposed to do. If only of you want to be seeing the son every day, it's very possible. He's mobile. He has all it takes. Even if um, he wants to like talk to the son every day, he can still call Queen Naomi or the nanny on video calls every day. Then maybe weekly, they can just, Quinomi and the son can just come to wherever you are or at the palace. You see your son, you spend time with your son and she will take her, to, she will take him back because he's still tender. He's very, very small to be left alone with another woman. That is totally wrong. Me, I'm not supporting that. No matter who is involved, it's very, very wrong. Now, coming to the issues that Oniofe has with Queen Naomi's family. It's not because Oni has um, um issue with Quinomi's brother. Would not warrant you like to plus Quinomi left everything you now bad advisors will use the opportunity to, to you know advise the king on what to do. Sometimes you will do something that in later in life you regret it. In fact, there is so many, so many stories we've been hearing concerning this Oni of Ife and Queen Naomi's issue. I think um, a lot of people are saying that Oni is doing all these things to see if he will pressure Queen Naomi to come back to the palace. Like, like my brother, my sister, I don't see Queen Naomi coming back to the palace. Now, maybe he'll, she'll come back in future, but as for now, I don't see it because the way the custody of a thing has as, um, escalated, police involved, you know, they mishandled everything. It's not supposed to be like that. This is supposed to be what only of his elders will call uh, Queen Naomi's um, village elders and they settle this thing than taking it to police now, proceeding to the courts now. What's, what happens to family and family talking it over? Or elders and elder only can send his own elders to to um, the king of Quinomi's village, and they will trash it. Than you know, embarrassing your wife, you know, maltreating them, taking them to police station, and all of that is not good. If no matter how bad people feel that Quinomi's family are bad, even if from now to tomorrow, when you hear their own part of the story, you will know that. As a, a normal human being, you, you can still do the same thing the family did. Nobody is perfect. Some businesses can go wrong. You might do contract with someone and you believe that all this money will be enough. You might eventually in that contract and a lot of things will change. Price of things will high, um, go up. A lot of things that might even make the money to finish quick. Let's okay. People are saying that Quinomi's brother ate the money. If we've already known Quinomi's brother, what did he have? How can he eat uh, those millions of naira and his life is still like that? They even got Quinomi's sister involved, the one they call Simi. Simi, they said she ate 20 million. How can you just say that that small girl ate 20 million? What did he do? What did she do with 20 million? So you see that some of those stories are fabricated stories. What, what did she do with 20 million that her life is still like that? It's not, she's not even wearing expensive clothes. It's just like normal um, clothes that everybody is wearing. What did she do with the 20 million? 
she don't even get house she don't even get car she, she don't have anything so what possibly did that small girl did with 20 million or people saying that quinomi's brother ate 100 million ah uh ah -uh. 100 million is not small money 100 million is not 1 million where did he what did he use that 100 million for no there is some people, when you say that they eat money, when they come out, you believe that they eat that money. The Quinomi's brother ate 100 million and his life is still like that. No, no, no. I don't believe all those things. Yeah, so I just said, let me just come here, you know, and update you guys what is happening because honestly, it's been a long time. I've not really done videos about Quinomi because I believe that she has moved on with her life. She don't need all those um social media bro, haha. <laughs> But still, still, they are still coming to her. Well, I hope Oni of Ife will rethink. I hope he will think and rethink what he thinks. Because this is the mother of his son. He should trade with caution. No matter who he is, no matter his position, Quinomi is still the mother of of his only son so he should tread with caution because this child will grow up and even if the mother did not narrate everything one person internet a lot of things will still he will still get to know what you made his mother to pass through marriage even when marriage ends doesn't mean that both parents can become enemies both parents can still be friends not f by false friends just be friends for the sake of that little children you guys have so that um they will grow in love they will still feel that parents love not one parent but both parents you, you get so i i hope um they will settle this matter soon because the matter has really really escalated to what we don't um even in, in fact in fact they are saying that Quinomi is trying to relocate. Quinomi and the family are trying to relocate to abroad because of all these things. I, in fact, honestly, I support. I wish, I wish, um, they would do it faster and relocate for their own sanity, honestly. So that fine, everybody will just relax. They will move on with their life. And if Quinomi and family actually got hundred million from only of. They would have done visa travel abroad and relocate and you know settle down in another country or all those kind of stuff but anyway i'm wishing that they settle all these things soon because only you already married with six wives so allow kenomi to be you know marriage is not by force co-parenting can do a very good thing to the life of that little prince than all this wahala every day every now and then you know back and front you know what i'm at all but anyway thank you so much for watching what do you think about this video what do you think about this cost study of a thing eating uni's money and all of that moreover uni has never come out to say that quinomi's family ate his money all these things are just hearsay hear this this and that anyway thank you so much guys just drop your thoughts on the comment section and i'll see you on my next video